Gili, Gomes, Krivshina, dedicated to Gucci and Stetsenko. So over this uh, one length of the pool in the 53, it is the sh shortest and fastest of the races. One length of the pool. Now, just ahead of world record pace here at the moment is Maria Carolina Gomes Santiago. Can she bring it home? She is starting to just pull away from the rest. Carlota Gili is looking to go with her. And now coming back in lane six is Dedekind as well, perhaps for a medal, but it is going to be Brazil. As Gomes Santiago has a Paralympic record, it's a, de it's a uh, Paralympic record for Krivshina as well, as she comes in in 27.06, the Paralympic record in the S13, but a Paralympic record in the S12, 26.82, as Gomes Santiago wins, and the world record holder, Carlota Gili, has the bronze. Krivshina, one one-hundredth of a second ahead of Gili. That's how close it was. I thought it was a dead heat for the two. They were absolutely bang on. One one hundredth of a second. So Krivshina has set the Paralympic record for the S13 classification to clarify. But Maria Carolina Comes Santiago. A bronze medalist in the women's 100 meter backstroke in the 50 meter freestyle. She's a gold medalist. Gomez Santiago, she got off the blocks very quickly, but they were very much bunched together going into the first 25 meters of the race. And here you see how closely packed all the swimmers are. But it's not until the end where Gomez Santiago, she really started to pull away. And you see she got the tap. She's an S12 in comparison to some of the other swimmers who are S13s and don't use the tapper. That's because they have different levels of vision. And Gomez Santiago, I mean, what a swim on her on 26.82. That is very quick. It is very quick. She was a, a 27.41 swimmer coming to Tokyo. She went... 26.87 in the preliminaries. Now she's gone 26.82, a big PB, a Paralympic record.